My flight leaves in uh, four hours. Uh, this is this is currently what I'm working with. I haven't packed a single thing in my bag. Today is the day we are headed to Florida, Tampa. We're going ahead and painting a car. To, well, not today, but over the next week. So, guys, I need uh, let's let's pack, shall we? That's all I'm taking. It is 2:31. We're leaving in two hours. My room still kind of looks like it just blew up, so we gotta put we gotta put a lot of stuff away. Let's do that. Let's do that. How are you? Good, good. Awesome. Molly, yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Please vote. Oh, well, you're not going anywhere today. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. You're so good. just Thank pick you. us out of this. It's open seating wherever you like. Oh, anywhere okay. in the plane? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've made it. So, if you guys are not aware, we are here to paint this beautiful. What year is this, Omar? Uh, 93. First off, Omar, you want to introduce yourself and what, what you do here? Uh, well, I actually have the Tacoma. He's got a Tacoma. And then I got the 240 on the side that we're building. Exactly. So, Omar's got his own channel that will be on the screen and down below. Uh, make sure you guys go follow this man for real because this is about to get super super serious Once this car gets a really nice paint job. It's gonna look completely different and honestly right now it is super clean obviously Southern car no rust there are a couple little dings We're gonna go ahead and work with but we're not gonna really waste any of your time right now. We're gonna hop right into this assembly We've already started, but there's a lot to do. We're not taking glass out or anything like that We but we are gonna do a, a pretty thorough I guess Disassembly and kind of prep for this thing so we want it to look Pretty decent, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, so we're going. If you guys are wondering, we're doing a factory KH3 black that currently this car kind of maybe is. It's it's definitely been resprayed, uh, but the factory code for this car was KH3, so we're staying factory. It's gonna be exciting, man. I've never painted a car, but obviously we've done mad engine bays, and I honestly think that the car in general will be easier because it's just a nice big flat surface. Prep is obviously the main thing, but with engine bay, you're doing so many crazy movements. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's tear this thing apart. We're gonna do just a quick little walk around just to show you guys the current state of this thing. Obviously, first off, you got the, the blast pipes. We got those on our S13. We have a nice set of JDM Type X tails. Uh, pretty nice and standard on the outside. These are not Mercury wheels. If you, actually, wait, are they Mercury wheels? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, they could, they, they very well technically could be. They kind of suit the car like really good. I like that mesh style. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just super clean, super clean. You got, you know, interiors just, you know, obviously it's a project, it's in progress killer shift knob nice little nardy steering wheel pretty standard in there new carpet by the way hoods off ka um, plans I guess maybe LS Jay-Z's who knows yet that's still kind of it's brewing here, yeah. that's brewing uh, shark nose what else what else is there to say Mishimoto in a uh, radiator fans or like say coil you got coilovers yeah. fuel uh, fuel pressure regulator and that's that's pretty much it. She's pretty much a blank canvas, ready for ready for whatever. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Well, here we are, fully stripped down doors, moldings, trim, fenders, bumpers, all off. Sunroof, everything is disassembled. I figured I'd kind of leave most of this off of camera just because it's super simple, easy, boring stuff. We're not going back to bare metal. We're just going to go ahead and get everything nice and smooth, get rid of all this peeling, and just get it ready for some primer. So uh, let's break out the power tools. Cheers. 
All right, so it is the next morning. As you guys can see, the 240 is completely stripped down. It got a little late last night, so we didn't really film too much. But um, as far as what's complete, I got the hood sanded down. I have one of the doors sanded down, and we have the headlight cover sanded down. So we're going to go ahead, and, and the whole car is pretty much disassembled apart from the hatch. So today I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of the pieces, starting with the fenders, the doors. Uh, we have, obviously, the whole body of the car, <laughs> front and rear bumper. We got some work to do. Let's get going. Crunch time, we gotta go get some body filler. Car is, com clearly it's nighttime. Car is completely torn apart, all sanded down. We're pretty much at that point, we need some body filler. We're about to squat out, roll out deep, and get some filler. We definitely need a few more things still, which makes it a little bit tricky, but uh, we're going to figure out the game plan for today, and I guess I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm literally about to drive this thing to the paint shop like this, so this is going to be interesting. Alright, this is kind of insanely sketchily weird. I have no doors. Hopefully, <laughs> I have an hour drive like this. Oh, man. People are probably like, what the hell is happening right now? I'm so, I'm like, what, what are we doing? But we're going to the paint shop, which is an hour away. Woo, let's get it, boys. <laughs> well, it doesn't rain, that would suck. Status update. We're on the public roads. We're doing 45. It feels like I'm doing 145. I passed two cops, neither of which even looked at me. Neither. Florida, man, Florida. This is so trippy, bro. Like, uh, that's the road. That's the road. Yep. Here we are. Power! We've made it. <laughs> we are at the home of Boost Lab, guys. Make sure to go ahead and check them out as far as turbo needs, anything like that. If you guys are looking for a T51 Armad, they're your guys. Um, I'm trying to figure out real quick how the hell this car turns off because it, it, it's clearly got no key. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try a screwdriver. Let's see if that works. It's a little sketch. Oh hell yeah, that worked. Oh, the fans are still on. Is there a switch somewhere? Where's our switch? Gotta love 240s, bro. <laughs> right. She smells a bit oily. That's for sure. I wonder if there's any oil in it, first of all. There's something in there. Let's 
So for whatever reason, this car sounds like it has a cam at idle. If you guys can identify what's going on there, I'm, I'm thinking vacuum leak or something along those lines. Because when you dump the clutch in, um, sometimes the RPMs will drop quite a bit, and then they'll climb to like 1700 for a little bit, and they'll slowly settle back down. Maybe it's like the idle air control valve. And also, this car smells like kerosene when you drive it. It's very weird. I've never had a 240 smell like this. Interesting. It's a, it's a forklift, I think. Wait, no, forklifts, forklifts. Some forklifts run on propane, right? Not kerosene? Maybe, maybe both, maybe both. All right, so much time has passed. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now actually go and do a little bit of filler in a couple spots here on the quarter panel and the doors, which are actually in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the doors out and just final scuff those for um, paint. And yeah, uh, this is, it's all just kind of simple, simple, boring stuff right now, kind of tedious sanding stuff. So that's why we're not really filming too much. You guys have seen me do sanding day in and day out for a while. You guys have seen me do enough sanding stuff, but um, generally, this is how it goes, especially with painting a car. The prep is key. The finish is pretty much dependent on how good your prep is. So. So it is, I think, day four or something like that in this whole process. The past couple days, we haven't really done much besides sanding, filling, more sanding, and yesterday, finally, we were able to get some primer on some pieces. So, as you guys can see, we have the doors, the fenders, um, the little, like, valance piece that goes under your brake lights, tail lights, stuff like that, and I think, is that all we did last? Yeah, so. I just went ahead and tossed a bit of guide coat on the fenders. As you can see, the guide coat, like I told you guys plenty of times before, is the old, just kind of a dusting of a black spray paint. They do make like special guide coat paints and like powders that you can use that are probably better than this, but this works just fine. We're gonna go ahead and get our wet sand on once everything is all painted, but I figure we just get that paint on there just because it is spray paint. It'll take a little bit longer to cure up properly. Found a few more dents. Um, it's nice with the primer, it kind of really shows you the body line, one right there, one right there, and one up here. So otherwise, like as far as the body work I did, I, it's, it's, it's really flat. So that's all good. We just have three dents here. That door is all good to go. Yeah, just look at it. Yeah, I mean, look it, it. it looks mint. It's kind of hard. There's no shine, so it's kind of hard to see on camera. But as far as like just flatness, it's there. It's perfect. So here we are. I don't know what day we're on this whole process. And by the way, I'm recording on my phone because I, long story short, I don't have my memory card with me, even though I had it prepared for today. Kind of upset. We're moving on. Car is all in primer. Everything's in primer. Just tossed some guide coat on the hood. Um, the fenders a little bit. Oh, actually, the fenders had guide coat. We tossed some on the bumpers. And uh, Omar's actually just going around the car right now. And uh, we found a couple little dings and dents still. So. <laughs> 
more body work, more sanding, more priming still to come before we get base coat on this thing. So uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to get somewhere today and see some color on this thing. But uh, that kind of all depends on how much body work is left to do. Um, we're gonna keep chugging. Let's get this painted. Alright guys, so here we are. We're about to paint this thing finally. It is days and days and days and days later. We've literally just been grinding on this thing, guys. I, I, we had dents, we had to fix, just constant stuff that just kept adding up. But I think we're at the point where we can finally get some base kill on this thing. My stay has actually been extended. I was supposed to leave yesterday. I was supposed to be home by now, but here I am still in Florida. And I'm here till Tuesday. Today is Saturday. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing base coated and clear coated. Everything is prepped, guys. Sorry if I haven't really filmed too much, like I'm saying, but obviously you guys can see uh, we're a bit of a time crunch, and the amount of work to get done to paint a full car in this short amount of time is a bit of a challenge, but we're getting it done. I'm hustling, I'm grinding, we're out here. Unfortunately, we ran out of primer. Um, we had a gallon of primer and we ran out. So unfortunately, as you guys can see, we have a couple little spots where we rub through. Uh, just That's just unfortunately the way it is. We're lucky, however, so I'm sweating. It's 80 out, it's Florida, I love it. Um, and I got everything all kind of, we got our DIY little paint booth type deal just to kind of help bugs from falling. Main thing we want is roof protection so nothing falls down. Uh, we'll be good as far as that goes. But we're looking good guys, I think it's time to go ahead and start spraying. I can't wait to see some color on this car. Alright, so uh, we have a pretty, a pretty what I would call a, a pretty big problem as I'm spraying my paint gun starts to act weird and the trigger just like keeps itself on. I, I pulled it back, I hit the trigger again, look what happened. Bro, this is a 3M, this gun is great. I don't know how the hell this just snapped. I'm screwed, like I am screwed right now. What the, I, first off I spilled my whole Chick-fil-A lemonade on the ground. A large full Chick-fil-A lemonade is now gone and now my paint gun's ruined and now I don't know what to do. I gotta get another paint gun. This is, this is, this is, oh man bro, this, this is crazy. Um, but it is what it is, what are we gonna do? Now we just gotta fix it. Looky here boys, we got ourselves a little Harbor Freight special. Um, honestly, first impressions. Pretty decent. Uh, it's really heavy. All the parts seem pretty, pretty decent. Nothing's gonna snap on us like our, like our handy dandy plastic 3M gun over here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some good results of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and finish up our base coat. It's, look at it, it's a car again. So, it's been, it's been a while, like, it's been a while since I think I've last touched up with you guys. 
but the car is all complete, all painted up. The only thing that we weren't able to do, which kind of is a bummer, is uh, fix this hatch because we didn't have access to a welder. Uh, we kind of thought we may have. One thing I actually want to go over with you guys, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to be here to document the whole process. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that we are, we have painted many stuff, like many things. Engine bays, bumpers, brakes, wheels, like, like a lot of stuff. Um, and I always use the same like products. I always use Nason brand because that's just what I get locally to me. Uh, this actually, I, I want to tell you guys this just so you guys can be aware of uh, stuff before, before you buy it. Actually, let me show you. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, you know, this, oh, this is the clear coat we used. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess, it, it says ready to spray. I don't know if it's a 2K or anything like that. You don't mix it with anything, which for me was kind of mind blowing. Um, but that's what we use, and honestly, the finish is, I'm gonna be honest, it's not very, like, it's, it's not good. But on the, on the tin, it says on it, it says, uh, da, 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 wait at least four hours to buff. So, I mean, it kind of seems like the, shit. It kind of, it kind of seems, so it says right there that you should wait at least four hours to buff this. Now, I've never had paint tell you that you, you should wait to buff or anything like that. So, um, I guess that's kind of just how it goes, and, and Omar's detail buddy or, or paint guy also said that he used, this sort of clear coat and he had to go ahead and wet sand and buff the whole thing because you guys I'll take you in up close and unfortunately I don't know if it showed up on camera but for some odd reason when we were painting the actual frame of the car the clear coat was drying faster than I could spray it so like literally I, I was spraying this part of the roof I'd walk over to that side like right away and this side would really be dry so it really like messed things up a little bit now there's a lot of clear coat on this thing the whole car like the, the whole car has a gallon of clear coat on it just the shell and the quarter panels pretty much alone have half a gallon on them even though it looks like there's nothing here and you guys can see like how textury it is now this is totally fixable because there's so much clear coat on here we're going to be able to go ahead and wet sand everything so we're going to start with a uh, thousand fifteen hundred and then hit it with a cutting compound with a buffer and that should bring it essentially to a super high gloss finish now like i said i will not be here for that because i'm actually leaving tomorrow morning uh and my stay actually already got extended a little bit so but um omar is gonna keep us updated with you know progress on this thing once his buddy comes and uh, gives it the full jam obviously it would be nice if we could do this ourselves because i was really curious to see what it would look like it's <laughs> there's clear coat on it but uh, if you guys are looking for the ultimate just out of the can finish i definitely do not recommend that product the base coat was fine the primer was fine the clear wasn't that great so that is gonna wrap up my time here in Florida, at least for this video. We're gonna go out and have a little bit of a relaxing, fun little cookout today with the homies. Uh, shout out to all the dudes that were out here helping out, grinding, just hanging out, uh, shooting shit. It was a good time. All you guys are mad cool, and I can't wait to see you all again, and hopefully maybe move down here uh, someday. So I'll see you guys back here. Well, I guess we'll be back at my house, but I'll catch back up with you guys, and we'll show you guys the rest of the car. All right, guys, so look at where we are. We're back at home. We're back at my place back in New York Finally the weather has changed. I gotta let you guys know that that the content that I filmed was probably I mean this is like months ago This is back in like February, I think February or March and it's now June so Had a little bit of a delay. We were just waiting on some content from uh, Omar who's 240 that is he actually had his buddy uh, polish up the whole car um, and he sent over some footage of how it looks right now, so go ahead and check that out. I'll post that out for you guys to check out right now. So you guys can see that it looks way better. Um, it's still really not, like the clear coat itself is just not good quality. Um, I never have to buff, polish any of my stuff, guys, and it came, it comes out like killer. Hang on, let me just show you, let me just show you. If you guys haven't been with us, I'm sorry, I can't really get a, a good, like a good shot. It's kind of dirty and, we painted our nose piece, we painted our bumper, I mean, look at that. Can you guys see me? 
See how clear I am right there? It's just, you know, it's, it's, it should come out really, should come out really crystal clear, but unfortunately it didn't, man. So it sucks. However, um, he actually sold his 240. He's got like more projects coming up. So we will be back down with Omar and all the homies down in Florida very, very soon. Um, he actually called me about helping him out on his next project. So pretty stoked on that. So as far as the paint gun, guys, how good is it? How bad is it? Honestly, the paint gun itself is really, really killer. Uh, for the price, you really cannot beat it. My paint, my 3M paint gun was like 300 bucks and that snapped in half of my hand. Uh, so the Harbor Freight one was like 75 bucks. And then don't forget to use that 20% off coupon that they always offer with one item. So really, really good deal, man. Really good deal. You, can, you cannot beat it. I do however want to clear this, clear this off really quick though. If you guys are painting something, don't invest so much money in the primer. Don't invest a gnarly amount in the base coat. Invest your money in the clear coat, guys. That's really where the, the finish is kind of made or broken. Definitely pays off. And you don't have to buy like expensive stuff. Uh, that whole gallon was like 70 bucks. Whereas my quartz that I buy are like 60 bucks. So, you know, you're gonna pay about 300 bucks for a gallon, whereas, you know, for some good stuff, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Just trust me, guys. You, you do not wanna use that clear coat that we use because it is junk. <laughs> if you guys are new and have made it this far into the video, Man, if you guys want to subscribe, that'd be super cool. We got a lot of cool stuff happening. Obviously, we got our 2JZZ. Uh, we are doing our LS240, which will be getting a gnarly RB in the future. A lot of cool stuff happening, guys. So, uh, also, a couple builds coming to the channel that aren't mine. So, it'll be cool to kind of see some other stuff as well. I'll see you guys then, though. Take care. Like the video if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. I'll see you guys when I see you. Take care, guys. Peace.